be sure to follow me on Twitter. There you can keep up with all the updates from Comics Explained and talk to me directly. What's going on, Comic Nation? This is Rob, and as we continue with Moving Towards Time Runs Out, we pick up now with our final video before the main Time Runs Out event. And what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be focusing on Starbrand and Nightmask. Now, the reason we're discussing both of these characters in the same video is because they're closely tied to one another. Now, again, capitalizing on our discussion in the last video about the Builders, what we discussed was that the Builders had positioned a satellite that created something called a White Event. Now, what the White Event does is it allows a race on any given planet to move into its next stage of evolution. And this transition is brought about in the form of five avatars. The Night Mask is the first avatar, which leads the race into its new transition. The second avatar is the Star Brand, and the Star Brand protects the new race. The third Star, or I guess the third avatar is is the cipher and the cipher teaches followed by the justice which maintains order as well as the spitfire now one of the things that we learn is that the satellite doesn't actually send out a signal on its own instead there's an overseer of sorts that monitors all satellites in the multiverse and when any one race in any universe is deemed worthy of evolving the overseer actually commands the satellite to send out or to initiate a white event now under normal circumstances these individuals are selected to help smooth the transition of the race with the individuals best suited for these roles receiving their respective powers. Now what we learn is that due to the fact that the multiverse is collapsing, that what the overseer ends up doing is he basically sends out a, or I guess sends out a command to all the satellites to initiate a white event. And the result is that on in the Earth 616 universe, the mainstream universe, rather than the satellites sending out the signal or giving powers to people who were worthy of the powers, it instead sends those powers out arbitrarily. And so the result result is that a genetically engineered person named Adam ends up becoming Nightmask, and a college student named Kevin Connor ends up becoming the Star Brand, and the other avatars actually don't end up manifesting. Now, with regards to the actual stories, or I guess the origins of these characters, what Hickman gave us were a group called the Gardeners. Now, where the Builders create systems capable of supporting life, the Gardeners create life on those systems. And one of these Gardeners is a being named Ex Nihilo. Now, one of the first actions of Ex Nihilo was to attempt to create an evolved version of humans on Mars. And the first being he creates is a person named Adam. And what Ex Nihilo explains here is that Adam was created by, I guess, using a combination of God particles. Now, we're not explicitly told what God particles are, with the exception of maybe saying that they're basically composed of the fabric of the universe itself, but the fact remains. What ends up happening here is that almost immediately after uh, Adam is created, or after he is revealed to us, the actions of Ex Nihilo have brought the attention of the Avengers. And so after a short battle, the Avengers agree that Ex Nihilo can stay on Mars and do his thing, and that Adam's going to come back to Earth with them. The reason being because if Adam was designed to be an evolved version of humans, the best way for him to learn what it means to be human is to live among humans. Now, while Adam's on Earth, what Tony Stark's basically trying to do is decipher the language of Adam. And once he's able to do so with the help of, uh, of Captain Universe, what we end up learning is that according to Adam, that the last white event is coming. And so what ends up happening is that everything is shrouded in complete white. Everything goes totally blank. And the result is that Adam ends up becoming Nightmask, and Kevin Connor is bestowed with the powers of Starbrand. Now, what ends up happening here is once Adam becomes Nightmask, he immediately learns what it is that's taking place. And so what he tells the Avengers after teaming up with them is that there are supposed to be other avatars. And so what the Avengers and Nightmask do is they set out trying to find Kevin Connor. Now, what we learned about Kevin Connor is that he was largely an ignored college student, but when he received the star brand, he didn't know what to do with all this power. And the result was that he had inadvertently destroyed his entire college campus and killed 3,200 people. And so when the Avengers arrived and began to question Kevin, he started to panic. He started to freak out. Now, the Avengers tried to subdue him, but in the process, Kevin Connor blasted the Incredible Hulk into the atmosphere. In addition, Thor threw his hammer at Kevin Connor and 
Kevin Connor wasn't phased by it. Of course, it knocked Kevin Connor down, but as far as Kevin Connor indicates to us, it was simply the sheer force of the hammer, more so than the hammer actually doing any damage to Kevin Connor. And so what ends up happening is that while the situation seems to be escalating and getting out of control, Nightmask steps in. And what Nightmask does is he basically takes uh, takes Kevin Connor away. He takes Kevin Connor back to Mars and begins uh, basically explaining to Kevin Connor what all's happening here. And what he tells Kevin Connor is that as the star brand, Kevin Connor's role is to protect the new evolution of this race. And so Kevin Connor has the power to confront any threat, no matter how powerful that threat is, effectively telling us there is no limit to the amount of power that Kevin Connor has, that Kevin Connor is basically a character who can now warp reality on a cosmic scale. But because of the fact that Kevin Connor doesn't know how to deal with his powers, because he's incapable of coping with his abilities, and because the Avengers don't quite know what to make of Nightmask yet, what ends up happening is the Avengers basically lock Nightmask and Kevin Connor away. Now, this was basically Marvel removing these characters from the equation temporarily during the Infinity event. That was basically the purpose of this. But what we'll find is that once we get into Time Runs Out, and we especially pick up eight months later when we're dealing with the multiversal Avengers, that we're going to see their characters return. And that Nightmask and Starbrand are going to become extremely important, especially when we get into the battle with the Beyonders towards the end of Time Runs Out. With that being said, we're going to go ahead and bring this video to an end. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, let me know, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.